So good day everyone and welcome to this meditation session. And uh, one of the functions of Buddhist meditation is to place ourselves squarely, fully into the vibrant and dynamic pulsing uh, experience of life, of being alive, that um, all the sensations that you experience, uh, whatever they might be, pleasant or unpleasant, they come and they go, they're dynamic, they vibrate, they are flashing in and out of existence moment by moment that uh, all the experiences, sensations that you have, you have because you're alive. Once you're dead, <clears throat> your body is no longer energized or animated with the whatever life force is within us. There are no sensations whatsoever. And, um, and the sensations we experience are proof of the living, livingness in us, the dynamic and active quality of the natural world, the energies of the natural world, that how they flow through us and manifest in us. And so to sit in the middle of our body and with anapanasati and uh, to be able to be centered, unified, collected, um, liberated from distractions and really here, be here to feel and sense and, and uh, be intimate with uh, the dynamism of change, dynamism of the, in, the, the coming and going, appearing and disappearing, of phenomena, of everything that we call experience. In a certain way, what it doesn't change are concepts Platonic concepts of things which, their ideas of them, which stay constant. Ideas of self, ideas of others, ideas of what has happened to us, and even some kind of funny way, what will happen to us. These ideas give the semblance that things are continuous. And maybe in some things are in a certain kind of way. But to drop into the flow of experience to the direct, direct, immediate perception, knowing, experiencing of life as it flows in that little window, little kind of where the vast past and vast future are, you know, coming and going. We have this idea, I think, in, in English sometimes that we're moving into the future and I think in ancient India they had the idea, more the idea that the future was coming towards us in this river of you know just time just flows and and when it, and we know the future <laughs> only in the experience as it becomes the present and as we know it it already vanishes there's something about the immediacy that already vanishes here so. Assuming a meditation posture, a posture to embody, inhabit the lived experience of the moment, and perhaps to close your eyes in order to Be inside, sense and feel inside your life, your body. Sometimes with the eyes open, we're looking at things externally and pulled into the external world. The eyes close, the idea is to come into this intimate world of our physical embodied experience in the immediacy of here. And to gently, 
maybe lovingly, kindly, slowly take some deeper breaths, maybe three quarters full. Taking deeper breaths, so slow and careful enough that you almost like you're savoring and enjoying this the feelings in your body of the chest expanding, the belly expanding. And then a longer exhale than usual. Not so much maybe that you are forcing the air out, but you let go, you release the muscles around your diaphragm, your chest, so that the exhale extends itself. As you have these long exhales, also relax other parts of your body. Relaxing into your body. And then again, lovingly, gently, allow your breathing to return to normal without the need for any clear idea of what normal is. Just allow your breathing to breathe itself. And also continue this relaxing, softening the face, Softening the shoulders. Releasing the belly. And and somehow maybe even releasing all the holding that global holding of the body, holding it all together. No need to in meditation, to relax, release. Releasing into this body to feel and sense the immediacy of our lived life. the experience of sensations. And then kindly, gently, maybe even tenderly and determinedly center yourself on the experience of breathing. Breathing is often taken as a sign of being alive. And the inconstant, shifting, changing sensations of breathing. Sensations of breathing in are different than breathing out. Sensations of breathing in disappear so that that sensations of exhale can begin and vice versa.
regardless of how pleasant or unpleasant your breathing is, to feel it and experience it, to center yourself in it. is to enter into the intimacy and of being really here with our lived life. As you're with your breathing, and then maybe that's mostly what you do, to feel the inconstancy of all the sensations that f- flow through, they appear and disappear. And perhaps as you do so, you relax and open all everything around the breathing. And perhaps as you get more and more intimate, there will be some experience that everything is shifting, changing, arising, disappearing in the immediacy of how they are felt and experienced. If we recede into thoughts and ideas of things, we begin projecting ideas of constancy and permanence. But as a thinking mind gets quieter, we just feel and sense experience. Breathing in and breathing out with all the inconstancy of things coming and going.
the experience of thinking, if we're intimate with the actual experience, thoughts are also inconstant. They come and they go. And rather than being involved in thoughts, to settle further in and just see thoughts as arising and passing, coming and going. The individual words or images that appear come and they go. In the intimacy of the moment, everything is part of a field of appearing and disappearing phenomena.
And then as we come to the end of the sitting, there's something about being at rest in the middle of change, settling back. So if we're sitting in an easy chair, allowing everything to move and change and appear and disappear freely without us interfering with them, feeling safe and comfortable, just letting the things, everything come and go, everything. It can be uncomfortable to do this, but it also can open up the barriers to feeling tender love and kindness, to feel compassion, care for this changing, buzzing, flowing world. Because what that gets in the way of our love is something we're holding on to, something that we are, that blocks or covers over. But when everything is buzzing and changing, and but we're at rest with awareness, there can be a greater capacity for compassion for all this. To be still and gaze upon everything kindly. To be still in the middle of all the change. and to feel compassion for the challenges that everyone has in this changing world. To feel the joy, mudita, that because things change, things also get better for people. And because we're not holding on to anything, there can be kindness May all beings be free of suffering. May all beings celebrate their capacity for freedom. May all beings live in a world of kindness and friendliness. May all beings be the kind and friendly ones. May all beings be peaceful And may all beings contribute to the peacefulness of this world. May all beings be free. And may all beings support the freedom of others. May we all share in love and kindness and friendliness in living this buzzing, changing, impermanent life that we find ourselves in. <laughs>